And then they go, oh, yeah, we're free in China. We get TikTok. What about Google? No, we don't have that yet. <laughs> no, we don't have that yet. Sorry. Wow, your phones can't even get Google. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to try one. I've never tried a Huawei phone, but that would be really interesting to try a phone with no Google. I almost got one when I was looking for uh, phones um, a couple of years ago. I was I almost bought one. But they're the, they're the shit. They're fucking amazing. They're expensive. Yeah, that was the reason why I didn't get it because I couldn't get a free one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, they're cra- I keep going for the uh, P, the Mate forty or whatever. It's like the same price as a S20 Samsung. I want one, Mang Wang. I've been on your side the whole time, evil lady. You owe me a phone before you ruin the earth. <laughs> and a laptop. <laughs> nah, Acer owes me a laptop. Fuck Acer, by the way. Yeah. That's I agree all I have that. to say about that. Fuck those guys. I'm supposed to have the fastest laptop on the market today, and it's fucking worse than my... 12 year old Lenovo $1400 fucking hunk of shit never going with Acer again no no agree to that that's my endorsement for the night I expect my sponsorship money Acer this is your <laughs> you this is your last for fucking talking dog, about you last chance <laughs> hey you no. saw that the uh, um, a uh, uh, was that a UK newspaper has published the unreleased video of the cops, uh, what is it called, the, the chess cams, whatever it is, of the George Floyd death. Why would a British newspaper have it? Jesus Christ, those people are evil. And it got leaked. Um, so the actual, there's like 17 minutes from the moment of the cops arriving at the store where he tried to pass off the fake $20 bill right up to and including part of the when he gets out of the car and he's on the ground and to the knee to the neck thing. Do we need and to I, see any more? Like, does it matter no. now? Well, what's funny is like, and I watched the whole video and it, it's be, when you start right, like when you watch the whole thing in its entirety, it, it's an, it, there's very couple of interesting things that happen. Number one, George Floyd, from the moment the cops approached him, he lied about everything except for one thing. He admitted that he knew the cops were there to talk to him about the fake 20. He knew that. But everything else, he, he lied about the fact that the cops were being forceful because they weren't. When you watch the video, you can tell they're not being forceful. He complains numerous times about not being able to breathe, which is strange because that's the one thing he continually kept saying while they had the knee on the neck. But nonetheless, yeah, but uh, you now, saying it the whole not... time. I that's the first thing I say too, as soon as the cops grab me, that's the first thing I say, and then I, I then I breathe. argue that I'm claustrophobic and I can't be put in a cell, which so is what yeah. he said. That's the first thing I always say. That's the first thing lots of people say. So really, I'm not holding the cops really at that fault at that point. Now they shouldn't have killed the guy. I'm not saying they should have, but right. This video is not helping anything. Just drag on a story that should have been over a long time ago. A shitty dude got killed by the cops, and it sucks. The cops are getting punished for it. Good. Yeah. That's the thing that I'm... Because my whole thing is is that this whole 17 minute which gives it this whole different perspective of everything, still means nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, of Should the cop does. have jammed his knee into a guy's neck for 20 fucking minutes, however long it was? No, eight minutes? Should he yeah, have yeah. done it? No, he shouldn't have. He knew he was killing him. He didn't do anything about it. He didn't care. And I don't know how much of this video has been tampered with or edited to make it look like a new perspective. It could be the same fucking bullshit. This this long well, after the other being ones released were shot by the cell British, phones. This is the actual body cam footage. Yeah, that doesn't mean they can't tamper with it. No, but even if it's tampered, it, it still doesn't change the outcome. So no. it still doesn't matter. No matter what goes on for the seventy minutes beforehand. No, it doesn't change the fact that at some point, whether you believe that George Floyd couldn't breathe in the car because just claustrophobic or not, and they put him outside on the fucking ground, you still stuck a knee in the guy's neck till he couldn't breathe. <laughs> so, 
It doesn't matter. You, you don't change my. That's why I said like it does. It does nothing. It they're just dragging it on to distract from the fact that they're not doing anything about Camp Rama Kid. Yeah. <laughs> They putting it under the guise that the British released it. We don't know that. They probably released it themselves. They're just saying the British did it because no one will think it's credible if Trump says he did it. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm surprised Trump hasn't claimed it was him that released it. I'm actually surprised. He will. <laughs> I knew George Floyd. <laughs> we were could, very good friends for many we, years. He couldn't breathe all the time. That was his thing. <laughs> that's the worst Trump impersonation you're ever going to hear that's it right there <laughs> mark it on your counter kids <laughs> you'll never hear a worse one ever you that's you you got the first hand listen to the worst Trump appearance ever <laughs> that was me um, right here I do bad yeah. impersonations I should like start a thing where I just do terrible impersonations <laughs> it sounds nothing like the guy that was better uh, than my, my. I used to do impersonations of people nobody knew. And then, then <laughs> you didn't know if they were good or not. Like, yeah, this is uh, my impersonation of the guy who delivers my Sunday newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Won't mean anything to you guys. You don't know him, but it's a really good impersonation. I think it's even funnier to just go out and do really bad impersonations. <laughs> I think you just maybe set a new comedy standard for me. <laughs> I think that's just such a great thing to be like. Yeah, uh, here's my impression of this guy. Da, 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 da. Is that what he <laughs> sounds like? No, you'll never know though. This is my imp- <laughs> yeah. This is my impression of the, this weird guy named Eddie. Hey, yo, I'm weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm weird. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my impression. Weird guy. I call him Weird Eddie. <laughs> you know why I call him that? Because he's weird. <laughs> Does he sound like this? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I've never spoken to him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a good comedy show. This podcast oh, is not. <laughs> but I worked out some tension. I'm glad I did. I'm gonna. I'm off work tomorrow. Um, after my triumphant return today, um, maybe I'll look up some uh, something we can talk about tomorrow, or we'll do a a new Eric Gord or a, some kind of a game or something, something to get I'm, us off I, stupid news that I hate. Well, I am up for anything. Cool. Um, well. could be. A couple of days after tomorrow before we get back to doing it. Because I really got to get to work. I think I've got one day on this paycheck. No. Oh, it's going to be wrong. I know what that's like. Then. That sucks. Uh, well, kids. Send in your emails. Uh, you have to go to our old one. Because for some reason my new one's not working. So that really pisses me off. So send your emails to retards at gmail.com. Or... You can send them to my brand new personal email, eric at erichunt.buzz. If you need your knives sharpened, call Gord and leave me alone. <laughs> I will happily take those calls. But you can email uh, for knife sharpening to uh, any of the emails you hear on the show, and those messages will get forwarded to Gord immediately, as they always do. Uh, thank you, Milton, for supporting him. Please, uh, everyone in the halted area keep it up keep bringing your knives to gourd and if they're too sharp go stab somebody they get dull real fast just make sure you hit a bone uh, you just flash it ink in a doll <laughs> other than that uh don't rape kids and take care of each other i second that fucking right don't rape kids i like that <laughs> that's for you tony danza <laughs> Stop <laughs> raping kids, Tony. <laughs> I'm not saying funny. he does. I'm just saying he shouldn't. 